Hey guys, I'm here with the Midnight M2 15 inch MacBook Air and I can't wait to unbox it. This has 8 gigs of unified memory along with 512 SSD and of course, Apple M2 chip. So let's get started and unbox the future of computing. Let's take the lid off and right off the bat we see the 15 inch MacBook Air, covered in plastic of course. Let's try to take this bad boy out. And so here's the MacBook. Let's put that to the side. And we are faced with the MacSafe 3 cable. And you know, it's color matched with the color of the MacBook. Here we have some paperwork. And I believe this also has the stickers. Here they are. Nice. And that's all that's in here. Let's also put this to the side. And here we have the charging adapter and this is a 35 watts charging adapter. And it has two USB type C ports. You know, standard, but it's, it's a lot small than what I'm used to seeing on MacBooks. So that's kind of nice. Let's put this to the side and take a closer look at the computer itself. Wrapped in plastic, let's take all this off. And here we finally have it, the 15 inch MacBook Air. And so here we have it, it's saying hello. I'm not sure what language that is, but so far I really like it. I was surprised how thin it is. And also the backlit keyboard looks really nice and the display is stunning, but we'll take a closer look at a lot of these components. So first up, we have the 35 watt dual USB type C power adapter. And I love the fact that it has dual USB type C ports, which means you can charge your MacBook and charge something else with the extra port, like your iPhone or AirPods. The MacBook also supports fast charging with 70 watts USB type C power adapter, which is not included in the box. So if you want to charge fast, you will need to buy a separate 70 watts power adapter. In terms of the battery, the MacBook can last up to 18 hours for playback and 15 hours for web browsing, which is amazing compared to other laptops in the range. Next, we have the USB Type-C to MacSafe 3 cable. And like I mentioned earlier, I like the fact that it comes with matching colors to the MacBook. Also, I really like the fact that MacSafe is magnetic. Like I can do this all day. And lastly, we have the ultimate, the most advanced marketing campaign in the history of technology, the Apple stickers. An Apple product is never complete without its stickers and I think they are pretty dope. So here we have it. Overall, when it came to setting up the MacBook, it was fairly straightforward. The setup process guides you through the basics, such as, you know, setting up your computer name, password, and Touch ID, which is very convenient. And personally, I use that more often than anything else. Whenever I can use Touch ID, I always go for that option. I love the bigger display compared to what I'm used to on my M1 MacBook Pro 14 inch. It's a 15.3 inch display diagonally with liquid retina LED backlit with True Tone technology, which is great for color accuracy. And in terms of the ports on the MacBook, we have the MacSafe 3 charging port, two Thunderbolt USB 4 ports on the left side of the MacBook, and a single headphone jack on the right. I do wish though that they had more ports on the right, like a couple more USB type C would be very nice. When it comes to the trackpad, it's a big trackpad. And from my personal experience with the trackpads on Mac books in general. I know it's great and I can't wait to test this even more to find out. Well, that is it for now guys. Let me know in the comments below if you want a full in-depth review of the 15 inch MacBook Air. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell icon. As always, have a superb day, especially to my friends who let me unbox their MacBook Air. And thanks for watching.